Hi, welcome to a quick tutorial on uh, using AutoCAD. I'll we'll start off with some uh, basic stuff. First of all, I'll explain that uh, this is the ribbon, which is controls uh, got all your controls and menus in, and you've got different uh, different ribbons. So you've got the insert ribbon, the annotate ribbon. Um, home is where you're going to, going to be there most of the time. Also, to point out that uh, what you can actually see on the ribbon depends on the resolution of your screen or the size of your screen. For purposes of the video, I've shrunk mine down quite a fair bit, so uh, obviously these panels at the end here are squashed up a little bit. And also, I've changed my uh, ribbon a bit, so this you may not have this object snap. Later on in a different video, I might show you how to customise AutoCAD and uh, add the object snap to the to the ribbon. I'll explain that a bit later on. Okay, so start off by opening a drawing. So you go to the traditional, it'll open, or you can go to the A. And we'll open a drawing and it's just uh, we'll try that one so you can click it and click open or just you double click okay now this drawing originally done when done by the designer has another drawing inserted in it that's called an xref or external reference well basically this is this box here is telling you that you don't have that drawing uh, so we'll, you can either ask the designer for it and repoint it or we'll just say ignore it because we haven't got it, it doesn't really matter. Okay, to start off with, this drawing is currently in paper space because uh, down here on the, the tabs you can see it says model and 30, 30 probably being the number of this drawing. You can have different tabs here for different different views in paper space. Uh, it's called paper space because uh, obviously this is what would actually come out on paper when it's plotted. A uh, bit of a giveaway, it's normally white and you've got uh, uh, the border here telling you the numbers or whatnot that's normally done in paper space but you probably want to be doing most of your work in model space so click it so that it goes to model uh, model space I like it to be black on the background I think it's a lot easier on the eyes and uh, the color stand out a bit more but uh, straight out of the box I think AutoCAD is actually white uh, once again later video I might be showing you how to customize that so if you if your paper model space is white don't worry about it just that I've changed mine to black Okay, so once you're in model space, I've, you can pan and zoom around, which is, I tend to use the, the wheel on the mouse, so you just go zoom in and out, it's panning, it's zooming rather. Now if you press and hold down the wheel, then it means you can pan around, so you press and hold it down, and you can actually move the drawing around like this, use it go, press it down again, so that's panning. But not all mice have got a, uh, the wheel as a button as well, so if you, uh, another way of doing it is you go to across the top of the menu here and you pick the view ribbon and at the end here you have pan so you once again you just this time you just press the left button and hold it down to pan the drawing around and press escape escape will uh, escape out of any command so just press the escape button and this one here is uh, extents which is the zoom but you see this little arrow so you can click it and different sorts of zoom functions so you can zoom window for instance. Let's use zoom a window. And it zooms in. But so I tend to use the wheel because I've got my hand on it anyway, but this is an option if you want it. Right, a little thing about layers. Different entities should be drawn on different layers, but uh, not all designers do it, so this isn't a foolproof method. But for instance if I zoom into here and we want to know what this green line represents, and I hover over it. It'll tell you that it's drawn on a layer called satellite television installation. So there you go, that's the satellite TV. And we'll try this one here. And there you go, layer, cold water services. What's this red one? Okay, electrical layout details. So there you go, it's electrical. So this is not too bad. Wonder what this one is. Uh, so there you go, it's just a code, so it's, it's not always a foolproof way. wonder what the yellow is. There you go, concrete lintel. So it's, it's quite a useful thing. Uh, the next thing I should explain is the snap, which is quite an important thing to remember. Is for instance, if I wanted to draw a line, which I'll, I'll do a drawing in a later video, but just for example to show you how snap works. I want to draw a line, and I want to draw it from the corner of this building. Well, it's very, very bad practice and not very clever to try and just zoom in as close as you can and try and get it on the corner. So the way you do that, if you, if you press and hold down the shift key on the keyboard and then the right button on the mouse, 
this is the stat menu pops up. So if I want to go to endpoint, click it, and now you see the little yellow square appear. So that will, I don't have to go exactly on it, so if I go close to it, snap on, it snaps to the endpoint. And as you saw from here, there's quite a few different, so I press and hold down the shift key, right button, and then midpoint for instance, there's a little tri yellow triangle, see it snaps to the midpoint. So there's different ways you can do different things. So if I escape out of that, I'll just type U to get rid of it. It is possible as well if you press and hold down the shift key and the right button again, if you go down to the last one, this is what's, uh, what's known as running snap. So you can turn it on continuously. So I'll leave the endpoint on, and if you object snap on, F3, which is useful to remember, but you can always come back to this if you don't. So now if I do a line, it's just going to snap to the endpoint. So I'm not having to do I'm not having to do the snap each time, so it's just running snap to the endpoint all the time now. You can add an extra one in the middle if you want. So go to the midpoint say. So this is how you do a snap this way. And once again, I escape out of that. Delete those. And remember F3. So you notice down here this is the, the command line. Now I've pressed F3, it says snap off. F3 again, snap on. So that's how you do snap. Right, and that's the snap is also very important for uh, doing measurements. So if you go to u the utilities panel, so up here, which say yours will probably be a bit more stretched out, we'll go to measure. Now, for instance, if we want to measure the, the width of this room, we'll go from the end of there to the end of there, and here it's telling me 4,445.5 millimeters, 4.45 meters. There's another thing you could do, just click it again to do, say, what's the width of this room? That says 3.5. You can also do an area. So you click area. So just do a simple square. Just trace the area that you want to do. And then right click or enter on the keyboard to say finished. And then there you go, there's the area. Obviously, it's in millimeters, so you divide that by a thousand times a thousand or a million, and that gives you the square meterage, and then exit to exit. Okay, I hope that's uh, useful for a quick intro to AutoCAD. I'll do some other videos later on for drawing and doing a few other little things. Okay.